just wanted to do a quick video here on kind of general runout on the Pocket NC. Uh, it's relatively new to me, but uh, you know, I've been working on the rig CNC and I've got a bunch of toys and I've done stuff like this, so I know attention to detail is important. Um, so I was just kind of indicating the general runout here and was pleasantly surprised to see if I run this. You can see the runout on this taper is really good. Um, you know, far, but plenty acceptable. Um, and this is this is the V two ten, so like it it really it goes up to ten thousand RPM. Um, not that runout isn't important at lower RPMs, but it's extremely important at higher RPMs. But one thing I noticed, and I imagine it's common with people, is that if you crank these down, and I'm not cranking like, you know, tons of torque, just like I'm applying more torque than it needs, you can introduce a crazy amount of backlash, which it's not a fault of anyone, but it's something to pay attention to. Um, if you're running very tiny tools, like that's what two thousandths of backlash, or two thousandths of runout, um, and I'm in the spindle, so you have to introduce the kind of nut backlash and the tool, or not, I keep saying backlash, the nut runout and the tool runout before you get to the indicated runout, um, and it's kind of like you know you march your way up. So this here should be better than this should be better than, you know, the nut should be better than the tool. Um, so I just wanted to, I guess, take a video and show uh, it is useful to maybe indicate uh, and torque down slightly less than you would expect to because you can really introduce a bunch of uh, wobbliness if you don't. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.